The final day is when Allah ends all life on earth and the dead rise from their graves and are judged by Allah. Muslims do not believe in reincarnation. They believe they live one life and are dead until the final day approaches. He decides whether they go to paradise or hell. He judges their intentions and their deeds, and if the good weighs out the bad, they are sent to paradise, and if the bad weighs out the good, they are sent to hell. Until the final day, the dead stay in their graves. There are some events that occur to mark that the final day is approaching. One of these is that everyone gathers at the Sirat Bridge, which is at the entrance to hell. For the people going to paradise, crossing the bridge is a simple task, but for those destined for hell, the bridge seems razor thin and it's almost impossible to get across. A book full of your deeds and intentions is presented to you by Allah. If you are mostly good, he will place the book in your right hand, and if you are mostly bad, he will place it in your left. Paradise promises eternal happiness, while hell promises eternal suffering and flame. It is said that Allah will grant forgiveness if someone asks for it before the final day, but once the final day has arrived, he will not accept excuses. The idea of the final day influences Muslims to live good lives and have good intentions and do good deeds. They strongly believe in good and bad and the balance between them. I hope you learned a little bit about the final day and you enjoyed my video. If you'd like to learn about paradise and hell, click the corner of your screen. If you would like to learn about funeral and burial customs, click the other corner of your screen. And if you would like to go to my conclusion about Islamic faith, click on me. And if you would like to go to my whole group's conclusion, click the top of your screen. Thank you.